Ramji. So politics, politics and yoga sell don't go well together. Especially if one is position of the teacher was it. Want to stay clear with one's stance. So uh, in that sense that the, that the stance should be aligned with the principles of yoga. The yamas and, uh, yamas and niyamas and, uh, and also like a internal perception, which means the, uh, the siddhanta, that conclusions of yoga. And it's basically impossible to endorse or support anyone in today's world, uh, anyone's uh, political agenda without dirtying one's consciousness in that sense. So one should, one should vote in that way by staying away from politics is what if one wants to uh, present oneself as a, uh, somehow yoga teacher or some, something like that as a, someone who is imparting the yoga. But of course it doesn't happen, this, this doesn't happen. And, and like uh, there's many things, example this abortion question is one thing which is very, very much condemned everywhere in the uh, Shruti and Smriti in the Rig Veda. And, and uh, Susurta Samhita, Sar, Samhita and Puranas, it's explained as well. Well, that, uh, that like it's same as killing the Brahmana, which means that they are putting the, putting the unborn child because the life, according to yoga, life starts when, they, uh, when this uh, sperm hits the egg cell. And that's where the soul enters into the, into the womb. womb, which means that in a, from that point of uh, onwards, then it's killing the human being if one kills baby in the womb. So, and the child is innocent from that uh, moment of conception to the, uh, to the five-year-old. And it's same as killing the Brahman, because the child is karmically in innocent. And killing the Brahmana is the, or some, Brahmana means someone who is spiritually elevated or spiritually realized, which means that this is the, uh, one get the most strongest karmic, karmic reaction from that kind of action. So one should, which means that it's very, a very negative thing. It's considered sin from the yoga perspective. But still uh, people are so delusional that they, they support these kind of things. Although this is really corrupt the consciousness, people are supporting this kind of politicians and leaders and endorsing them without, uh, without really understanding what they are actually doing. They are destroying their own spiritual practice. It's not something external. And, and these arguments are, arguments are very much based on, uh, based on lust. Lust is uh, uh, disguised as love. That one should have uh, free love and one should be able to do whatever one wants to do. Although these this, uh, rape and incest and uh, these abortions uh, which are stemming from the rape and incest, they are only one or two percent and the rest of it is just because it's convenient so that uh, one can enjoy the senses. And so many, so many children are killed by their parents in the womb like hundreds of thousands, millions, and people are getting a very strong uh, karmic reaction if they take part of these kind of things or, or, or condone it. And it's impossible to go forward with spirituality, what to speak about uh, teaching spirituality to other, other living, uh, uh, other human beings. Because one's own consciousness is po uh, polluted, one's consciousness is in a uh, it's called under Tam Tamisra, it's the deep darkness, that kind of consciousness. And the spiritual practice becomes uh, technically impossible. Possible. And, uh, and like the, uh, that means that like when one is supporting these kind of things, it means that there's no in, uh, even understanding of basic things, yeah, like a basic things in yoga. Like example, this, uh, this transmigration of the soul Transmigration of the soul, how the living being enters from, from one body to other. Like one doesn't understand that. One doesn't understand the karma. Because body cannot, karma cannot develop without, without the karmi, without the person whose karma it is. Karma cannot develop. So body cannot not develop in a womb without the soul being there. 
So one doesn't understand that, that uh, that relationship between the living entity and karma. Once karma doesn't level, level up without, without the person, uh, without the karmi. Karma, uh, dharma anusai dharmi. Explain, this is just basic thing explained. Yoga sutras. A self doesn't develop. The eternal nature of the self, self is either there or it's not there. It's not that it's gradually, self is gradually growing. Growing. And the, the, and the other thing is that one is giving up this uh, scriptural, uh, scriptural I I injunctions because the scriptures, the yoga text, are saying this there's higher revelation, there's divine revelation or revelation of higher, high, higher consciousness there. That is, it's very wrong and if one is still doing it, then one loses all the opportunity for the spiritual development. This is explained in Bhagavad Gita, ya sasta viti ucita vartate kama kara, na sasidim avabno di na sukham na paramgatim. One loses the chance to perfect one's spiritual practice. And there's no that happiness what is promised by the spiritual practice, what to speak about the paramgatim, the highest goal. So you can see that, you can see that we live in very, people are living very, very, uh, Big delusions on this by endorsing this kind of political leaders. Anyway, getting into politics and uh, try to do the spiritual practice and getting into politics or or taking the sides in the politics, you know, one dirty one's own consciousness. Because there is no one should stay with the Dharma and align one's oh one's opinions with the Dharma if one wants to go forward with the spiritual practice. But because because there is no any more proper education, then the so-called spiritual leaders they are endorsing these kind of things without understanding what they are doing. They are pulling themselves on the deepest darkness of the consciousness, and then they are moving themselves there, and then they are pulling others with them. So, so in that sense, uh, politics and uh, spiritual this is just one dimension. There's so many other dimensions, but uh, we can understand that spiritual, pro proper spiritual practice and, uh, and, and politics very seldom go together. Sri Radishyam.